Hey y'all, Tommy Post here. Time for another Micro Pig volume. Uh, today's is going to cover putting a snorkel, more like adapting a snorkel, uh, to my Kia Sportage convertible right there. So the idea is if you live anywhere that's got creek crossings or, or something deep, the air inlet that these cars come factory with is just above the headlights uh, at the, the front opening of the hood itself. So just above the little grill, uh, it sits at the top of the radiator and I've hit some creeks where it's gone in there and I've puffed a little bit of uh, steam out my tailpipe. So it was time to go ahead and do something and put a snorkel on there. Well, there is a snorkel available for this thing made by a company I think called King. But uh, I don't know much about it. I heard they're expensive. They're from out of country, so you know they're just not readily available. But you know, if you want to pay the price, you could get something that bolts right on. I personally went the cheap route, which is eBay, and grabbed something for an XJ Jeep Cherokee. Now it can be adapted, but you have to be handy. So let me show you what we got. All right, that is pretty much what it looks like from the outside. Now the only complaint I have at all is trying to mold that thing to to not hit the windshield is not the easiest thing and that usually takes some persuading with heat and that's going to be in the form of either a, a butane torch or propane torch or a really strong heat gun, something like that. Well the idea with this thing you start right here. This snorkel kit comes with a template that you can fit it on the back and, and make sure that you've got the circle where you want it to be for where it goes inside the fender here. So you cut yourself your hole and there's studs on the back of this thing in four locations. So after you drill those four holes as well, you can stick it right into place, get through the bottom by taking the little plastic Christmas tree push-in thingies out of this black plastic thing, that'll just drop down. So you can reach right up inside, put the nuts on the back, and it holds it. Well, the contour of this thing is for a Jeep, so it really does take some work. You have to kind of heat it up and it start to basically bend this out. Now you should start by doing an initial bend before you even put it on the car because what will happen is it'll hit the windshield and you won't even be able to get these bolts on this end started because it'll be lifted up too much off the car from curving so but it's not hard to do give yourself an initial bend by heating it and being patient and slowly massaging it and once you have the location you you want you let it cool that way and it'll stay put so once you get it in place there then, you have to get underneath the hood. Right. Put you right in there. So, this is snorkel pipe right here. Now, you're going to have to get to your inner fender. There's a, there's a shadow there. I don't know how easy that is to see but you'll have to cut open the inside of your inner fender there. If you've got cruise control, which is right now just laying right here, that cruise control was extended this way and bolted right there. So if you have cruise control, you'll have to take that loose and you can just do a soft loop and just lay it right there. It still functions. Just put it right up in there. So right in there you can see that's the clamp for the snorkel itself, uh, where you slide it on there, tighten that clamp, that gives you your watertight seal on this end. Work the plastic tubing here. Now for this application, the, the diameter of the outlet on the bottom of the air box is smaller. So you're gonna have to get creative. You can either stick a piece of rubber pipe on there and then another piece of uh, rubber pipe on top of that until you build up the size enough to be able to fit this collar on there. In my case, 
I took a piece of high density um, stick on foam. Um, when I say high density, I'm saying it's almost the density of rubber itself. Went all the way around the outside of that collar or that outlet there. And that took up the gap so that you could slide this on. It's pretty snug. Tighten up the clamp and it's, it's tight. So now you're watertight there. Now you do have to remove parts of the factory intake. Right up here is where the original air inlet was. So if that water came top of your headlights here, it would go right inside and inside your air box. But you take that completely out and there was a little resonator that fit on the front of the air box here that who knows what it's for because it doesn't really affect the function. No check engine lights come with removing it. Remove it. So that's pretty much it for the inner installation. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now after you get it bolted up to the car, you'll probably want to mold it a little bit. it takes take probably three or four tries, a little at a time, till you can get it to match the contour that you want. And all you have to do is you can take a, like a ratchet strap and put it around here and lash it off to something and pull it gently. Not enough that you're going to break it, but just apply pressure that direction. You can start heating this up until you can eventually mold it. And it does work. So that is it. Micro pig. XJ Cherokee snorkel installation. All right, listen, if you want to see some more pictures of it, uh, of the installation and the step by step of it, find me on Facebook. It's Micro Pig Off Road Club. Search it up, find me, and I'll have some videos of using the torch to mold that thing as well as the step-by-step -step on installing. That's pretty much it. So happy off-roading, and I'll see you guys on the next one.